Ow! What's happening? <laughs> Hang my cut up. <laughs> I like when people say that. Hey, nice, nice cut, brother. Not a cut, dude. There ain't a single color on the bag. Ain't got a rocker on there at all. Not one. Let me crank this down. I got a little, little something. There we go. That's a little more intimate. So, uh, just got back from the station. Yeah. Got a couple more rock stars and stole a couple cups of fucking creamer for the coffee for my system. Because uh, I don't want to run to the store. I got shit to do. Plus, they're cool. They don't give a shit. So, let me steal a couple cups of coffee. Coffee creamer. But, uh, so I'm headed on my way back, you know. Uh, I'm on my bike. And, uh, I take it very personal when, uh, when people use their car to swerve at me or, um, really to endanger my life in any way. I really get pissed. Uh, I don't think they understand, so I figure I'd give you the, uh, the biker perspective on it, at least mine. Um, okay, there's a bunch of cars in the left-hand lane, there's three cars in the right-hand lane. The three cars are spaced out, you know, uh, three to four car lengths apiece because they're all like this on their, on their phone, you know, not paying attention to what the fuck they're doing, so they're giving their self space, that way they can continue their phone... Uh, playing and not ram into the car in front of them. So, um, if I see a space more than two car lengths uh, in front of me, I will uh, white line at a stoplight and uh, um, and get in there, you know, up in front. Uh, it really pisses people off, and I don't understand why. <laughs> I guess because I'm cutting in line. Uh, but they're not going anywhere anyway, and they're busy on their phone, so what's it matter? So, uh, anyway, I'll cut in there. The reasoning behind it is, um, you know, I've been hit from the rear before. Someone just slammed into the back of me while I was on my bike, and it's not a very good feeling. Um, so, any chance possible that I could have a car, a stopped car behind me, uh, I don't care if it's breaking the law, you know, to me that makes a hell of a lot more sense uh, to have have something as a buffer uh, back behind you instead of just taking an impact from somebody not paying attention uh, when they come to a stoplight. So uh, I'll do it or I don't give a shit. You know, I've, I've been pulled over for it for white lining uh, quite a few times and I think it's the dumbest fucking law I ever made. You know, if, if you just use a little common sense, you would see it. But uh, So I pull all the way up in front and the guy the guy behind me now that was in the front of the pack, uh, fucking brings this car up and tells me that, that that's against the law. Okay. Okay. You know, good observation, sir, is what I told him. So then, uh, I take off and there's damn near no car that can keep up with me off the get, you know, and I'm waiting for the lights. So, uh, light turns green and I'm on the gas. I'm gone. Uh, I hit second hard and, and then uh, double shift up to fourth and I'm just cruising about 60 and a 45 and uh, the same guy that told me that that's illegal and I'm breaking the law okay I'm already doing 15 over the limit he comes flying past me uh, probably 85 mile an hour 90 mile an hour and a 45 um, cuts cuts right next to me I have to go into the next lane uh, to not get broadsided you know and I'm looking at the guy as I'm riding, you know, and he damn near hit me. Uh, then he jams on his brakes right in front of me. Uh, I just don't understand how me trying to protect myself pisses somebody off so bad that they want to kill you. Because that's what would have happened if I, if I didn't have the, the fucking skills that I got. So, anyway, something to think about. Another thing to think about is... Uh, Pay attention when you're driving. Stay off your fucking phones. Thanks for watching. Later.